SpaceX has finally unveiled the latest version of its deep space transport called Starship 3.0. The Starship is expected to be the biggest and most ambitious project that SpaceX has taken on to date, as the rocket is designed to make humanity a multi-planetary species. In today's video, let's take a closer look at this amazing new prototype of the Starship and how it will change the future of space travel. Can the Starship take humans to Mars within the next decade, or does it still need further upgrades? SpaceX is actively trying to turn the sci-fi dream of a Martian colony into reality. The company is developing a 100-passenger spaceship called Starship and a giant rocket known as Super Heavy, which together constitute a transportation system that Musk thinks will bring more settlement within reach at long last. When Musk revealed his idea to the world, he laid out a basic plan a large spacecraft and a huge rocket, both of which will be completely and rapidly reusable. The rocket will launch the spacecraft into Earth's orbit, then come back down to Earth for a vertical, propulsive landing. Over the years, the Starship has undergone several design changes as SpaceX continues to perfect the transport and make it as safe as possible for the settlers that will be undertaking the long journey to Mars. The craft includes various amenities for the crew, such as an exercise bay, sleeping quarters, and a fully stocked kitchen area. After all, even astronauts millions of miles away from Earth need a delicious, well-balanced meal to get them through their day. While in space, their options may be limited, we back home on Earth can rely on Factor 75, our sponsor for today, to put together healthy, scrumptious meals delivered right to our doorsteps. Factor uses the best ingredients available to put together more than 27 meal options with multiple add-on choices, which are then portioned and delivered without being frozen for a single minute. This will help you cut down on food waste as well as prep time and make you as efficient as an astronaut in training. What's more, Factor offers meal options to fit your lifestyle choice, be it keto, vegan, or vegetarian. So hurry up and go to go.factor75.com and use the code FACTORSE33207 for 50% off your first box and start your journey to a healthier, better you. With such lofty plans for the future, a lot depends on the performance of the Raptor engines, which are at the core of every new rocket used by SpaceX, including the Starship. The company makes regular upgrades to the engine to improve its efficiency and reusability. In recent months, SpaceX has used two variants of the engine, with the newer one dubbed Raptor 2. The company states Raptor 2 includes a large number of performance and reliability improvements over the previous iteration. The Raptor engine is a full-flow stage combustion cycle engine that runs on super-chilled liquid oxygen and super-chilled liquid methane, both of which will power SpaceX's next-generation vehicle, Starship. The Raptor engine benefits from the highly advantageous FFSCC cycle, maximizing the impulse generated by a given amount of propellant. It is the third FFSCC engine to ever be developed and the first to leave the test stand. The first stage of Starship, called Super Heavy, will be jam-packed with 33 Raptor engines, 20 non-gimbling Raptor engines in the outermost ring, 10 gimbling engines in the middle ring, and 3 gimbling central engines in the innermost ring. This number is expected to decrease in the future as SpaceX further upgrades Raptor. The Starship currently hosts six total engines, three vacuum-optimized non-gimbling engines, and three sea-level gimbling engines. As research and development continue on the Starship, the latest news from SpaceX is that a new prototype for the vehicle has successfully undergone a static fire test of its engines ahead of its first planned orbital test flight. SpaceX fired seven engines on its Starship Super Heavy prototype Booster 7 on September 19th, marking the highest number of the company's new Raptor engines ever tested at the same time. To prepare for Starship's maiden orbital flight, SpaceX has been conducting static fire tests with increasing intensity, in which one or more engines are ignited while the vehicle remains stationary on the ground. A static fire test is a rough equivalent of revving a car engine in neutral, with this particular one lasting around 10 seconds. SpaceX is still awaiting a launch license from the FAA for the first orbital test flight of Starship. The company cleared a major hurdle in June with the completion of an environmental review that allows the launch to go forward but requires dozens of modifications to the mission plan. Once SpaceX has the green light from regulators, Starship will be able to launch from Starbase and take a brief trip to orbit before performing a splashdown landing in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Hawaii. 
Super Heavy will separate from Starship shortly after launch and attempt to land on a modified drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico. In addition to its inevitable role in getting humans to Mars, all of this is leading up to Starship's eventual participation in NASA's Artemis program to return astronauts to the surface of the Moon as soon as 2025. From the day it was first announced, the Starship program has remained shrouded in mystery. While recent tests have allowed us to observe the vehicle itself, what the final design will look like remains largely unknown. The Starship has a unique design that sets it apart from any other spacecraft ever built. Its stainless steel skin provides thermal protection, making it ideal for deep space missions. Additionally, the Starship has a parachute system that enables it to land safely back on Earth, even in rough conditions. The parachute system slows the spacecraft down during descent, reducing the impact of landing and making the Starship one of the safest spacecraft ever built. The vehicle has a unique fuel system that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. Unlike traditional spacecraft that use toxic fuels, the Starship uses a closed-loop fuel system that recycles the fuel and minimizes waste. This makes it ideal for long missions, as it reduces the need to carry waste. This system reduces the need for frequent refueling and enables the Starship to carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. The craft also comes equipped with a revolutionary landing system that allows it to land vertically without the need for runway. The system makes it possible for the Starship to land on a variety of surfaces including the Moon, Mars, and other celestial bodies. The landing system has been designed to be highly precise and autonomous, which reduces the need for human intervention and increases the safety of the mission. With the development of the Starship, SpaceX has opened up a new world of possibilities for space travel. The Starship has the potential to make deep space missions more accessible and affordable, paving the way for the colonization of other planets. The future of space travel is bright, and the Starship is at the forefront of this new era. With its powerful engines, efficient fuel system, and revolutionary landing system, the Starship is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. Whether it's a mission to the Moon, Mars, or beyond, the Starship is ready to take us there. But that's not the only reason SpaceX has developed the Starship, though. Behind the scenes, SpaceX has a secret plan for the Starship, a plan that will take space travel to a whole new level. The secret plan has been in the works for years, and it's a closely guarded secret. But today, we can finally reveal what it is. The secret plan is to use the Starship as a platform for space tourism. The Starship has the ability to carry up to 100 passengers to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, giving people the opportunity to experience space travel in a whole new way. With its comfortable cabin and advanced life support systems, the Starship is the perfect vehicle for space tourism. And with its powerful engines and efficient fuel system, it can carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. Space tourism is a relatively new concept and has only become possible in recent years due to advancements in technology. In the past, only astronauts and professional space travelers had the opportunity to experience the thrill of space travel. But now, with companies like SpaceX offering private missions to space, the dream of space travel is becoming a reality for more and more people. Space tourism offers many benefits both for the individual traveler and for society as a whole. For the individual, it offers a chance to experience a once-in-a-lifetime adventure and the opportunity to see our planet from a completely new perspective. For society, it provides a source of revenue and jobs and helps to advance the field of space exploration. While being able to travel to space is an interesting prospect, it's not without its challenges. For one, it's an extremely expensive endeavor, with private missions costing millions of dollars. In addition, there are still many technical and safety concerns that need to be addressed, such as the effects of long-term exposure to zero gravity on the human body. Even though the Starship is fast approaching its orbital test flight, it may still see some further upgrades in the future. Elon Musk has announced that nuclear thermal rockets would be a great area of research. The SpaceX CEO highlighted how the alternative to rocket fuel could unlock faster travel times around the solar system, a keen area of interest as his firm develops plans to create a planet-hopping civilization. While the idea may conjure up scenes from Chernobyl, its proponents suggest that astronauts may reduce the amount of radiation exposure endured by astronauts. Deep space already hits travelers with high doses, and while hosting a nuclear reactor on board a spaceship would create its own radiation, which would be outweighed by the reduced time spent on the trip. SpaceX is currently developing the stainless steel Starship, fueled with liquid oxygen and methane, with the goal of a manned mission to Mars. The rocket's fuel means humans can set up a propellant depot that creates more fuel on the surface of Mars, enabling a return flight home and trips even further out in space. 
Musk has suggested that SpaceX could establish a full-blown city on Mars by 2050, a goal that nuclear rockets could speed up even more. That's not all, though. NASA is also exploring the nuclear propulsion option as the United States plans to test a spacecraft engine powered by nuclear fission by 2027 as part of a long-term effort to demonstrate more efficient methods of propelling astronauts to Mars in the future. NASA will partner with the U.S. military's research and development agency, DARPA, to develop a nuclear thermal propulsion engine and launch it to space as soon as 2027. NASA officials view nuclear thermal propulsion as crucial for sending humans beyond the moon and deeper into space. A trip to Mars from Earth using the technology could take roughly four months instead of some nine months with a conventional, chemically-powered engine. That would substantially reduce the time astronauts would be exposed to deep space radiation and would also require fewer supplies, such as food and other cargo, during a trip to Mars. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about a shocking new launch update for the Starship. Do you think the Starship needs further design changes? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.